to check for symmetry, we should start by putting a source on one HY component. For simplicity, let's make it a hard source. The reason we should put the source on an HY component is because it's symmetrical in the XY, X and Z directions, and so it should radiate equally in all directions in the X and Z directions. Now where should we put this source? Well, since the edges of the grid are a PEC, we should put the source in the middle of the grid. At Imax divided by 2 and Kmax divided by 2. So that we can see some propagation away from this source before it reaches the edges of the grid. For the time waveform of this hard source, let's assume a sinusoid at 1 megahertz. So center frequency will be 1 megahertz. We are still anticipating that we will need to lower the operating frequency in order to increase the range of our geolocation system, but let's start with 1 megahertz for now. Go ahead and implement the hard source in your model. Now rem remember, we need at least 10 to 20 grid cells per wavelength for sufficient accuracy. We determine this in one dimension, but it's also true for two and three dimensional codes. So now that you're changing the source to a sinusoid at 1 megahertz, you should also check what delta should be equal to. Let's model 20 cells per wavelength. Next, what should the output of our model be? We probably want to plot one of the field components across the two-dimensional grid over time to make sure everything looks okay. Which field component should we choose? 